to align with 4th yeah. of July celebrations. Everyone wants to go out and have fun, mm -hmm. but it's terrible timing. This yeah, year. those burn bands, they just keep on mm -hmm. coming in. Yeah, I mean, it seems like Casey every hour there's a new county yeah. that's been included. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we had three this morning. We're now up to 10 in yeah. East Texas, yeah. 11 if you count Polk County, but there's the map right there. Van Zant, Henderson, Anderson, Houston, Trinity, Angelina, Cherokee, Panola, Upshur, Marion counties all included in that burn band and unfortunately I do anticipate more to be added with the lack of rain we've seen over the last week or so. Some areas did see the rain today, including Lufkin. That prevented us from hitting that 100 degree mark. But as of this afternoon, Longview and Tyler both saw triple digit temperatures. So you can count one more for them from what we had yesterday, which both locations saw that 100 degree mark yesterday as well. Upper 90s, lower 100s for your high temperatures today. And live Viper radar, we're not entirely done with the rain rain yet. We'll be watching a couple of these little bubble ups in Angelina County, but this should go away here in the next hour or two. Middle 90s to our north. That's where we did see a couple of showers here and there. And again, this rain, it didn't last very long. Five minute quick showers. All it was 98 in Lindale, 96 in Gladewater, 96 in Longview. You can see if you're looking, let's say to the west of the Cherokee County Airport, there are a couple of towering cumulus clouds there, but they're really not having any luck because it's actually relatively dry at the ground level. And then we've got 90s across Angelina County, but there's that little shower I pointed out just to the west of Zavala. 7 o'clock rain starts to come to an end by 9 o'clock. It's certainly done. The clouds will move out quickly after that. It will be another muggy start tomorrow morning. Those dew points will increase, meaning it will be more humid. It will be air you can wear as you step out the door tomorrow morning and then copy, paste, repeat. This is what the radar is going to look like starting at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and we could see a couple of pop up showers here and there, but again, only about 10 10, maybe 20% of us will see the rain tomorrow. And then as quickly as those storms pop up, they move out. And we're not going to really see much in the way of rainfall as we head into late tomorrow night and early Friday morning. High pressure continues to build over our region, leading to some very intense heat across the deep south. Nashville, Tennessee, I heard from a colleague today that they did hit 100 degrees. It's also hot here in Texas, of course. But where's the rain? Well, it's all out to our west. The high pressure ridge is here, and that means the rain is tapping into some of that Pacific moisture in New Mexico and Colorado are cashing in right now with all that green in the form of some very heavy rainfall. Triples Friday, Saturday and Sunday. There are your shower chances Sunday, Monday, and then we could have a couple of showers Tuesday and Wednesday as well. And looking at deep east Texas, similar trend. Temperatures will be in the lower 100s Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but there are your pop up showers. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Casey? All right, keeping our fingers crossed for those rain chances to pan out.